So I've been checking out this restaurant on Instagram, Susie's, 24 hours. It's in um, up in Constant Spring area there. Or the Alpha Tree area. Close to where the... Um, what is that called? I forget what that hardware is called. Cross on the Burger King in Alpha Tree there. Literally, it's like across the street on Central Avenue. I forgot what that plaza is called. Vision or something like that. But yeah, Susie's. Um, I've been meaning to check it out. You know, seeing the IG it looks nice. And there's not a lot of 24-hour um, food spots in Jamaica in the city. Because, you know, um, unfortunately, things close really earlier. By like 9, 10 o'clock. Everything is closed, food-wise. So you'd have to buy food on the street, you know? Like the people that sell the chicken and, and those things. Chicken, jerk chicken, all of that. Yeah, this place... This place is good. This lady was nice. Um, She advised me I should come a little early. I have more options. I'm going to let you know the food is expensive. Um, I got the pasta... Chicken Alfredo was really good. Um, it was a good serving. And also some mashed potato and some um, honey roasted chicken. Something like that was on the receipt. Um, I was going to try the ribs. They had ribs, oxtail, fish. The, the veggies side was really good. Um, I was tired of chicken, so I didn't try any chicken. And it, everything, honestly, everything tastes good. It was my first time. Like I said, I would definitely go back. And I like that it's 24 hours. Not to say I'm I'm recommending you should go eat at nighttime. But I'm here in Jamaica. I haven't really had a, a good meal since I've been here. You know, there's just been pure dry food because I've been busy. And I don't know, nowadays, some of these people, they don't really cook on Sundays anymore. It's not like... In my experience back in the day, when you know Sunday you're going to get a good meal, like, I don't even know. To me, people don't even take pride in their cooking anymore. Not as much as they used to. Because I'm getting food. I've tried food from some people that kill them dead they can cook. And to me, the food was just average. Like, the way they were building up themselves, I was expecting more. I think I built up my expectation too high. So since I've been on the island, I haven't really had a good meal, you know. And I'm not even fussy, too. Like, I've had some rice and pumpkin with some sausage, and it tastes good to me. Or, you know, uh, my mom used to, sometimes at nighttime, she'd come upstairs, she'd rig up something simple, and it'll just taste so amazing, you know. Like, when you can cook, anything tastes good. Anything you do, if you put some dumpling with butter, it's going to taste good. Or some rice, you know, some white rice with some nice, well-seasoned ackee. I remember one time this lady, um, I was talking to this girl from a housing trust. I remember and, um, one night I'm at her house and her mom made white rice with ackee. Oh, it was so good. Man, I think that's the best I ever had was... Aki was well seasoned and spicy. I like my food spicy. But yeah, Susie's, the place is nice, but just remember, it's expensive. I got a coconut water. Oh man, the coconut water was like $1,000. I couldn't believe it. That's the most expensive coconut water I ever had. So right here, I'm getting ready to eat the food and you know, preparing it. As you can see, it's uptown, so it's nice on Central Avenue and Alpha Tree. They're right across from the, where the Burger King is and the Texaco gas station. And I think the loft is also across the street, too. It's close. It's close pretty much. It's right where they keep uptown Mondays. That's what I should say. Across the street from where they keep uptown Mondays. Right, That's where Central Avenue is, if I'm not mistaken. And once you make your, your left on Central Avenue... You just make the first right into the mall. The mall's on the right. Forgot what that plaza's called. But yeah, it's in a nice place. 
The veggies was really good. Yeah, the veggies was really good. And I was hungry too. I was driving, I was driving there. I passed Waltham Avenue, Egley Park and Waltham, all these places. I'm like, man, I'm tired of chicken. <laughs> I'm tired of chicken. Earlier that day, I had some Sprat with some bread. Me and uh, my friend, oh, Sprat and bread was okay. But I needed like a proper meal. As you can see, I'm a big guy. I needed a proper meal. So the pasta was nice and hot. Yeah. The pasta was really nice. This is kind of raw. There's no editing, so I apologize to you guys if you guys want it to be perfect. I wish I could have put it so it's it's facing the food more, but this is the best I can do. So that's why I, I pick up the food to, so you guys can see. Yeah, watch my face. <laughs> I haven't even chewed the food yet and I'm just shoving it in my mouth. Show you how hungry I am. <laughs> oh, man. People, chew your food before you swallow. You'll thank me later. So don't be like me. Chew your food. Yeah, that tasted really good. The veggies on the side, the um, steam veg. It was nice. They mixed it up with a lot of different things, green pepper, and never really see it like that. Like, these people can cook. Everything I tried is good. I never tried the potato and the the honey roasted chicken because I was full after, after pasta and my $1,000 coconut water. Coconut water was very nice. Always love coconut water. It's great for you, but... Thousand dollars too much. You can buy coconut water in the street. Thousand dollar can probably get you all three bottles of coconut water, two bottles of coconut water. So I recommend to you if you go there, unless you have you have money, I would just say order your food and go buy your drink outside. Yeah, thousand dollar for a bottle of coconut water. That's too much, man. Yeah, see, revital. Thousand dollars is too much. And it doesn't even have the the jelly inside, you know? Summertime times you can buy the coconut water with the jelly. Wouldn't it be so bad if it had that? Yeah. Yeah, man, the food tastes good. The pasta tastes good. And it's 24 hours, so it's very unique. Like I said, there's not much 24-hour food spots in Kingston. 24 hours, there's not much 24-hour anything. Only other 24-hour I know about in Kingston is the tire shop there on Mullins Road, right across from the Black Stallion. That way you can go and buy a used tire and fix your puncher tire. That's the only thing I know that's 24 hours. <laughs> so this this is a nice, refreshing concept. 24 hours, I like that, you know? I like that. And to me, Jamaica, the places, I guess because of the crime, why things close so early, you know? But I feel like 10, 11 is when places should be closing. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Um, I'm not talking about offices and stuff like that. I'm talking about, like, food spots, you know, um, plazas, malls. Yeah, 10, 11 o'clock is when they should be closing, you know, or even 11, 12 o'clock. A lot of places close very early here. Not as early as back in the day, but still pretty early compared to, like, um, far. Yes. All right, guys. So I'm going to let you check out the video. I'm not going to chat off your ears anymore. Like and subscribe. Hopefully, you guys like this one, you know. I've been meaning to try this place when I was in Canada. Um, somebody that went there um, 
couple months back, uh, she told me about it. So I said, okay, next time I come to Jamaica, I'm going to try it out. So, And definitely if I go back up there, I'll make more content and I'll bring the proper equipment where you can actually see the food. Even though it's in a container, you're not really going to be able to see it. But food tastes good. So, you know, much respect to everybody. Thank you.